for Calgary Fish Creek. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, Dr. Peter Rod came forward with his own personal account of being bullied and intimidated by Alberta Health Services. Dr. Rod, a psychiatrist, worked with forensic patients at Alberta Hospital Edmonton. Many of these patients were dangerous and, in his medical opinion, too risky to be released into the community. But, as usual, his advocacy efforts to keep these dangerous patients at Alberta uh, Hospital were met with threats to his job and intimidation. To the Premier, why can't you see that your broken promise to hold a judicial inquiry into patient advocacy is seriously Premier. harming the health and Mr. safety Speaker, of all Albertans? Mr. Speaker, we made a commitment to hold an independent judicial inquiry with respect to queue jumping. We have kept that commitment, Mr. Speaker. But with respect to these allegations, I'm not at all surprised that a Wild Rose candidate will be making these allegations about doctor intimidation, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member. Oh. 20-page report about doctor intimidation. Read it. Thank you again. Again to the Premier. Given that physicians have told the Health Quality Council they need whistleblower protection if they're ever going to speak out, when are you going to table whistleblower legislation? There's a mysterious Bill 7 that appears to be on the order of paper. Could that be it? The Honourable. There is a Health Quality Council report that did talk about doctor intimidation. This government has accepted that report. It has accepted the recommendations made in that report, Mr. Speaker. And this government will actually find solutions to fix health care as opposed to the discussions that we seem to have in this House, Mr. Speaker, from the Honourable Member on the opposite side. The Honourable Member. Premier, you're a disappointment to Alberta doctors and the patients. The sure. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Again to the Premier. Given that Dr. Rod came forward today and confirmed what the Health Quality Council has already said, that patient advocacy in Alberta has been compromised by political interference in the system, what more proof do you need? By not calling the public inquiry that you promised, is that what you're trying to accomplish? To stop the 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 proof from is in the report that was presented by the Health Quality Council. We are not disputing that, Mr. Speaker. But the way to fix health care in Alberta is not to politicize this issue by having people at one point talk about doctor intimidation and then 20 minutes later announce that they're a candidate for a political party, Mr. Speaker. That does not fix health care in Alberta.